All right, I thought I'd try something a little bit new today. I'm going to do an episode or a little segment here called Hunting for Yo-Yos on eBay with Doc Lucky. So uh, we'll jump right into it here. I'm going to make a couple of adjustments here and we'll get started. Here we go. I am going to check out Yo-Yos pre-1970. That's kind of my specialty. Looks like we've got 951 results here. So we'll see what we can find that's good and juicy for everybody. Now, just remember, you may not be interested in any of these. I'll point out some that I think that are good deals, some that I think that are bad deals, and then maybe do a little education on some of the yo-yos for those that are new Bandalorists. Those are Bandalorists are yo-yo collectors or Bandalorians who are yo-yo collectors and throwers together. Anyway, so let's see what we got here. Now, here's a nice yo-yo here. Here's a yellow seal. Um, Oh, let's check this out. Um, this actually might be actually a good deal for somebody. A uh, little bit of crazing on the seal, a couple little chips, but not too bad. It looks like a nice show. Let's see what the size look like. A couple little chips there. Um, the price, $12.99. That's, that's pretty. Oh, oh, and it's carved too. Hey, folks, I think this one is definitely uh, one that I would uh, strongly take a look at. You're talking about $17, $18. I think that's a good deal if you don't have a yellow seal. This is this is actually pretty decent. So uh, put that on your little checklist there is actually worthy. Here's a nice goodie. Let's see what that's looking at. It looks like a goodie beginner. Um, they're wanting $29, 30 plus shipping. You're talking 35 Goodies have been selling a little less than that. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Now that changes things. This is a Goody Beginners elephant seal on the back. They had these stamp seals. That's a pretty strong seal. Um, I usually value these in about the $40 range. So actually, this is a good deal for somebody that doesn't have a goodie beginner with one of the animal stamp seals. I, I would definitely go for that, baby. Um, oh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, these Newton yo-yos. Uh, again, uh, the box is interesting, but uh, these are a bunch of yo-yos without seals. And you know my, my chant, if you will. A yo-yo without a seal is, is pretty much worthless. It's just like a... 1909 VDBS penny that's worth a thousand bucks, but if the mint mark is off, it's just worth a penny. So, all right, here's some more interesting ones. Satellite, thirty-five dollars. Eh, looks like it's in pretty good condition. Here's a Duncan Cross Flags. Um, let's take a look at that. Um, pretty good shape. Let's see how the. Uh, yep, overall pretty nice yo-yo. The problem is at $28, let's see what they got. So you're talking $32. You can buy them mint in package for a better price than that. So I would say that would be a definite pass. Let's see what, here's an all-star, $9.99. Eh, not bad, a 70s yo-yo plastic uh, made by Festival. Uh, you're talking 15 bucks. That's, that's reasonable. I wouldn't you know, holler at anybody, bad names for buying that, that one. Oh, let's see. Here's an, oh boy. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what the seal is. Which one? Uh, oh boy. Um, that's kind of a later version of the, oh boy. Seal's not real strong. Um, pretty weak. Uh, I would probably say that's a pass at $29. You're talking 35 there. You have to consider the postage. Now the problem with yo-yos now is that the postage in some of these lower end yo-yos can be 25 or 50 percent of the cost so uh, it makes it a little bit difficult for everybody tops them all that's a nice yo-yo from the uh, 40s this is one of those mixed plastic yo-yos let's see 39 dollars and they're talking 45 dollars i'd probably do a pass on that one too um uh, it is fairly rare. You don't see them popping up very often. Royal Masters, $22. I think the Royals right now are pretty undervalued. That's my my feeling on these. Um, 
twenty-two dollars. Yeah, uh, a few years back. Let me let me check and see what the postage is. A good six bucks. So you're talking under thirty bucks for that. Um, seals pretty good. I, I can't tell exactly, but the yo-yo's in good shape. I, I think that's a decent uh, decent price. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't call anybody names for. Uh, putting their money down on that one. Here's a nice uh, Kaysen's uh, Genuine Tournament Top. Now, this was the first seal. This is the scripted seal, uh, Genuine Scripted. Notice it's got some chips out of the seal. So it's, but these are pretty rare. I mean, mine that I have is the seal's not much better than that. I've been looking for years. But again, I, I have trouble paying. I mean, it's not huge bucks. It's about 30 bucks. If you didn't have one at all, I'd say, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Let's see, Duncan Satellite, 30 bucks, 35 bucks, not bad. Let's see what else we got going on here. Got some other stuff. Duncan Beginners, I, I like these plastic beginners. I, I like it because it's got the Yo-Yo Man on it. They're pretty cheap yo-yo. So let's see, 1285 for... Yeah, yeah, uh, not bad price. It's in it's in good shape. Uh, I wouldn't if you didn't have it. Uh, I think that's reasonable. Obviously, these plastic ones I think are better to buy a uh, mint in package. Uh, here's a twin twirler. Uh, that's a guy we got the marbleized plastic too. Thirty five plus six seventy eight. Yeah, you're talking forty bucks for that. I I think you can look around. Nope, no, nope, definitely not. That's a that's a that is a killer. That is a killer right there. So that's the melted plastic and it looks like melted tip too. So no way is that worth forty some dollars. Pass on that one. So here's here's an example of uh, when I said you can get these cross flags. I, I forget what were they saying, twenty eight dollars or something for that nice one. Well, here's one, mint in package along with another uh, beginner's yo yo mint in pack. Oh 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 folks. Oh, I am going to let you know. I this is great. This is great. Let me show you this. This is a sparkle finish. Duncan Frost Flags. These are really, really rare. Whoever's watching this should snap this baby up right now. I'm telling you, these are rare. Very few of these had sparkle finish. They put sparkle finish on the um, butterflies, but they're very rare to find a sparkle finish on a Duncan uh, Frost Flags tournament. So there you have it. It's, it's worth watching this just for that little tidbit. And the guy, the guy or gal that gets this, please email me and let me know you picked it up so I can talk about it. So uh, uh, that very worthy. And I'm glad I clicked on it. My point was you could get this for almost the same price as that one they wanted the loose one for, a little less. But this is this is a great deal. I would say uh, these are you know men in package, you know seventy five hundred dollar yo yos. Really, if you knew what they were, a lot of people don't realize what it is. So that is cool. So th there's your that that makes the whole thing worthy just watching this just for that one little tip i gave you and i have one and i have one for trade so that's why i'm not picking it up um here's a beautiful looking um whistler let me see if it's got any no no it's in great condition uh, you can usually pick, pick up whistlers for 25 30 bucks um this is in really good condition oh 150 for those two mm, no i can't can't say that would be a good deal. Let's see if that's uh, that's another beginner's. Uh, no. Oh, oh, wait. It's got an elephant seal on it. So uh, that brings it up. But still, uh, not worth 150 for the pair. Not not in my mind. Well, let's keep going on. Here's some nice string packs. The problem with string, no, no way, $100 for those string packs. You got uh, lots, lots of collectors out there. A lot of the Bandalorist out there have these string packs i have multiple packs for trade so just trade the string packs are best for trading not not for buying up ah talking about animal seals there you go here you got the horse the butterfly the elephant and the scotty dog 
That's two of the six. Uh, we're missing the monkey and uh, I can't remember the, the sixth one. It'll come to me in a bit. But yeah, that's that. I think that's a great price. Um, you should snap that up. Matter of fact, I snapped up a set of these uh, a couple of weeks ago just because the ones I had did not have those, uh, have a really strong stamp on them. Uh, and I wanted to upgrade. Uh, these these all have a uh, very nice stamp. So yeah, somebody should jump on that. Uh, let's see what we got here. Expert Award, uh, 109. Yeah, those are nice. I uh, think it's a little overpriced for, yeah, it's pretty worn. Um, again, if you don't have one, you might consider it. But uh, I think you can pick up one in that that shape for a little bit less. Let's keep going here, see if we find any other finds like that. Uh, <clears throat> like that Duncan Cross Flags. Wow. Uh, here's a nice uh, Duncan Jewel. Uh, it is a gold jewel. I value those more than the other paints because they were sometimes given as awards. I can't really tell from these pictures if that's scuffed up. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. They want 49 for, no, again, it's, it's hard to tell from this picture. Let me see if I can enlarge it. I can't tell if this is paint off or not. If that's just, uh, if that's paint off, then maybe not. But if that's just the way the, the highlights are doing, um, and that's, that's not a bad deal for one of them. Uh, again, I just can't tell. It looks like maybe the paint is worn there. So that hard to say, hard to say. Let's see what else we got. A bunch of uh, good, let's see. We got some uh, goodies. Oh, okay. Well, those are all beat up. Nope, nope. You've got one that's in semi-decent shape. The other ones are, are the seals are pretty much gone. So you can't, can't do much with that. Can't do much with that at all. Ooh, here's a nice thing. Here is a, um, a jeweled uh, satellite. This is from um, National Yo-Yo Company. That was the first one right after Cheerio. And you notice the, the, the square instead of the straight jewels across like Duncan had the old Cheerio glitter spins had those four jewels positioned. So when they went from Cheerio to Parker, they still used the same um, pattern. Now, those are hard to find. Three jewels are a little easier to find. Let's, let's see, let's check the condition out. Uh, a couple little scuffs, not too bad. $63, let's see what they wanted um, on uh, postage though. Sometimes they, oh, free postage. Ah. I think that's reasonable. Um, I'd feel a little more if the steel was a little bit more, you know, jump out at you and there weren't the little tiny scuff marks on it. But 63 is not bad for that yo-yo. They're hard to find. I looked for a long time before I found one of those in good condition. All right, let's see. Uh, we got the bowling ball. Eh, that's reasonable. Um, okay. Uh, now, here's here's some that are, are pretty rare, but I... I overpriced i think um these are 70s these are um i believe they were festivals they had the uh let's see this is the scooby-doo one uh, you know i these are mint minty mint obviously very nice yeah these that's the festival type festival union watering union wadding wadding sorry part um they had something going on with hanna barbera uh, back there in the 70s and they produced some of these but uh 99 i think it's a little steep on that one you know i'd go maybe 35 40 bucks on some of those uh here's your classic uh Sterling Silver Yo-Yo, $49, ain't bad. They're sticking you a little bit on shipping. If you look around, you can sometimes find these under $50 with shipping. So just keep looking. Um, here's a Royal Jewel, a eh, little overpriced, I think. Let's see if there's any other good stuff here. Ah, you know, I love those executive yo-yos. Uh, they made a series of them. 
that's a little that's a little high uh, you might you might pay that for one on the card but loose i think that's a little bit you're talking 30 bucks there i don't think that's worth it uh, let's see if there's any more interesting thing. here's the campbell soup yo yo that's uh 60s oh that's not that's not going to set you back too much it's best to buy that in the package with uh, the other stuff that came with it. They had the little handball thing and something else. I forgot what it was. Um, paddle ball little thing. Oh, here's a KO. Um, K. Okay. This is the wood grain KO. $149. Yeah. Let's see what kind of condition it is. Uh, ah, it's pretty good shape. Ah, a couple little, couple little things on I honestly can't argue with 149 for that one. Those are uh, hard to find and uh, very cool yo-yo to have. So um, that might be one to think about picking up. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, here's the uh, Royal TV yo-yo. Let's see what they got. Yeah, 20 bucks, 25. Here's the thing with that, though. You can usually buy them around that price with the box. So I would wait until you see one of those that came with the original box. Oh, here, over here. Let's, oh, whoa. Okay, here, here's one. Okay, this should perk you up. Uh, the Mickey, my three Mickey uh, yo-yo. This is a Duncan uh, uh, Imperial Junior. Let's let's see what it's shaped. Uh, okay, there you go. You can see the Imperial Junior on the backside. Quite frankly, for this price, not even having Mickey Mouse on it, uh, this is a good deal. Uh, 18 bucks, I, I, I think you can't go wrong with that. And it's cross collectible too. I've seen these go off for 30, 40, 50 bucks sometimes. So if you don't have that one, uh, you might wanna click on that and pick it up. Oh, well, what I was getting ready to see before I, that caught my eye was, here we got a high-low. Now, this is important because this is a Bandalore. So if you are a Bandalorist, that means a yo-yo collector, you should be trying to get a Bandalore. That's a pre-1929 yo-yo. Now this is a documented Bandalore. I think 1910 is, sticks out in my mind as when they produce these high, high lows. So anyway, very cool all metal yo-yo. It actually, I mean, for going up and down, it, it kind of goes up and down pretty good. I can't argue with $65 for that. Well, it's actually 70. I've seen them less. I think you can pick these usually up for a little bit under $50 in pretty good shape. But if you're desperate to have one, there it is. So they do come up periodically though. They're pretty indestructible. Uh, let's see what else we got a beginners. Uh, eh, 10 bucks. That's not bad partial seal let's see let's see what it looks like on the back here eh, back's not bad yeah i couldn't argue with spending 10 bucks on that i don't think you're going to get it much cheaper than that because you're paying half of that for you know 11 bucks total most of that's postage here's a nice jewel um let's see what we got here yeah there was a time where you couldn't pick up a jewel for less than 50 bucks this has got some uh got some the backside's good. Yeah, it's lost some paint on the front. But eh, the seal's not bad. 23, 75, 5, 30, eh, 30 bucks. Eh, eh. If you don't have a jewel, might pick that up. There's another jeweled yo-yo. Oh, yeah, no, that, yeah. Even at $8.50, uh, you know, you're talking 12, 15 bucks. Ah. I don't even think that's displayable. Uh, that that almost to me. The only reason I would think about getting that would be as if you have a jewel that's missing some rhinestones and you want to harvest original rhinestones, which I think is perfectly acceptable to replace rhinestones from an original uh, Duncan jewel that's all messed up like this with a Duncan jewel. That's perfectly acceptable. Uh, another satellite that looks pretty good condition. Let's just check it out. Yeah, this is the flat nose satellite. Yeah, seal's pretty good. 39 bucks. Yeah, I mean, you can find them cheaper than that usually, but um, uh, it's it's in pretty good shape. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, let's see what this one's going for. Oh, $300. Okay, let's look at this. This is a Spin Master 
This is the Duncan tournament that was made in the 50s that was sold in Canada, but it couldn't be called a yo-yo because in the United States, Duncan owned the uh, trademark, but in Canada, Cheerio owned, uh, Cheerio company owned the trademark yo-yo. So they couldn't use the word yo-yo on, on yo-yos in Canada. So they wanted to sell in Canada. So it's still a Duncan, but they had these weird names like Spin Master. Uh, you know, at one time, I could see maybe that going for that kind of price. Recently, though, I, I just don't, I just, I'm not feeling it. So, but if you were desperate for a Spin Master, it is, uh, looks like it's men on card. So there it is. Uh, oh, this is one of my favorite, well, the favorite yo-yo of mine from Dell. Um, oh, wait a minute. Uh, looks like there may be a defect there. I'm not sure. Boy, the seal doesn't. This is a Dell, um, a big D fireball. This is their glow yo-yo. So uh, it's, they say 60s or 70s. This is definitely 60s, like 1963, I think. $29, oh, yeah, well, 29, 30 bucks. If you didn't have one and were desperate, uh, this would be a good filler. I, I, see, I don't know if that's light shining there. If that's an indent, then definitely not worth 30, but if that's just the way the light's kind of hitting it, uh, if you didn't have one and desperate, uh, I think you know, 30 in package, yes, really good deal. 30 loose like that, not so sure. Uh, right, let's see what, what's this here? Oxford wooden yo. I don't know what that is. I don't have that. So I don't know what an Oxford, I don't know anything about this. This looks, and the price reflects that nine, 10 bucks. Oh, they won't stick you for, you're, you're talking 20 bucks for those two. Uh, you know, it's obviously got a barcode, it's not early. I would uh, pass on that even without having that yo-yo. All right, let's see if we got any other things here. Here's here's something from England, it looks like. Oh, that's too bad. Um, well, the seals, uh, this is a beginner's. I believe that's the tin one. Well, I'm not sure, actually. I can't tell if that's tin or metal. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, yeah, it's not a whistler. Can't tell, but the seal is so messed up. A nice string pack. I don't know if I actually have that, but I'm not going to spend $64 to get that string pack. That that you can trade with somebody for those string packs. Nice colorama. Um, this is a, a color wheel. Um, in the United States, they were coloramas. I, and this is, again, one of those Canadian yo-yos. They change the name and of course you don't see yo-yo on there so it's uh, they call it color wheel it's pretty rare but uh, not that rare not in my mind at one time maybe they were going for that price boy here's here's one i love i love this lifesaver yo-yo set um okay i, I was going to say that 22 25 dollars that's a good deal but when you start looking at it oh there's a lot of crazing of the paint and then you've got the paint chips so i would say a definite pass on that one that's a 1960s duncan made this for lifesaver uh, it was a promotion i think it was a beach nut promotion so yeah usually mint you can still find these in mint condition uh, 40 50 bucks each is uh, i think a reasonable price in mint condition but not not for that one uh, let's see here we got a super uh yeah uh, not for that price here's a Beginners Champion 55. I'm not seeing a lot here. That uh, this is uh, looks like a butterfly. There's that sparkle paint I was talking about. Oh, that seal's pretty weak. Thirty bucks. No, no, I'd pass on that. You should be able to get one mint in package for thirty-six bucks with a stronger seal than that. Let's see. So here's this Chico. Um, let's see. Oh, well, I saw the price there. Nope. Nope, too much damage. Not, I was going to say mini mint, maybe 60 bucks, but nah, not, not at that price. 
Let's see. Uh, here's a oh boy, a early oh boy from the early. Mm, uh, I date that in the 30s actually. I'm not sure they were making those oh boys in the 50s. Uh, 44. Let's see what kind of shape it is. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's just a filler. Um, they're, they're talking 50 bucks for that. I, I don't think so. Not unless you were desperate. Not unless you were desperate. Twin spin. Uh, let's see. Duncan Jeweled. Uh, that's nice. Oh, let's see. Let's see what kind of. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see the back. Oh, nice. Sweet. 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 Not bad. Let's see what the. Free, huh? No, you know what? I I would say this is a definite buy. If you don't have a jewel, jump jump on this one. A good seal. I don't see anything really missing. All the jewels are there. I don't see any paint chips. Um, uh, looks looks good to me. One little just scuff there on the rim. Yeah. Don't have a jewel? That's a good deal. Pick that one up, folks. Pick that one up if you're missing a jewel. Um, let's see what else we got here. Here's some more of those... Uh, TV star yo. Okay, that, that's that's a more reasonable price. 39 bucks. That's getting down in the price range where I think you should be talking. Um, uh, well, $10. Uh, you're still talking 50 bucks for that. I, I think it needs to be more mm, $35 range total. Uh, here's another Casins. We had already talked about Casins. This is the non-script streamline. Uh, it's got some chips in the seal, $29. Yeah. Um uh, you can find these with seals intact. So I would wait unless you just desperately need it as a filler for your... Um, here's a World's Fair. Let's see what they got on that. That's eh, in pretty weak shape. That's a good... Um, uh, Trilon uh, Perisphere uh, uh, logo, 1939 dated. Th those are cool yo-yos. But let's see what they wanted on... Uh, they wanted, they went almost 50 bucks for that. Uh, to me, um, that's one side's a little better than the other, it looks like, but still, that steel's pretty beat up. That's that's more of a filler. I'd wait and pay a little more uh, for one in, in good shape. Let's see, there's some Duncan Tournament cross flags, another cross flags. Those are a little high priced. Uh, okay, here th this is cool yo-yo. That's overpriced, but uh, th this is the yo-yo pencil. Let me see what's on the Enjoy Coca-Cola. Um, yeah, no, you're talking. This one should be a ten, fifteen dollar thing, but it's cool to have in your collection. Everybody likes those novelty yo-yos. Buster Brown. I don't think that's a little overpriced for that right now. Oh, here's the. Um, Pop Art Butterfly. Oh, I was going to say $25. Not too bad for that, but it's not got a complete card. And then they're tagging you on the post. You're talking $35 for that. No, I just can't see it. Not with the card. $35 with the, a good card. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Um, tournament. Let's see what else. Okay. Still haven't hit any really majors. Here's another one of those, $39. Getting down close to the right price on that. Uh, Dell, oh, here's here's an interesting one. Dell Big D Butterfly. Oh, okay, okay. Here's one to jump on again. I'm going to tell you that this is an important yo-yo because you see the word butterfly there. Duncan owns the trademark for Butterfly, and they sue companies that use the word Butterfly on their yo-yo, and they sued Dell, and Dell quit making them, uh, same as Royal. So those uh, Dell Butterflies are reasonably rare, and the uh, certainly the Royal Butterflies are very rare. And and when they they did when they lost the trademark of the word yo-yo, they retained the butterfly trademark so um 20 30 bucks ah if i didn't have one i would jump all over that uh, i think that's a good deal the only way you would get any better than that is if you um found it on card 
And there I would even give a premium to that. So very nice, very nice. Okay, here's this jeweled. Okay, this is a super, this was before they started making the jewels. Um, now this super has metallic paint and uh, you'll see all these jeweled supers will have the metallic paint. I've seen people try to stick jewels in supers, trying to make them super jewels. Uh, not if it doesn't have that metallic paint. Let's see the condition. They won a hundred bucks for that. I, uh, I mean, it's a nice yo-yo, but I, I couldn't go a hundred on that. I, I would think you're talking 60, 75 in that condition. Mini mint. Yeah. Maybe a hundred or more. Uh, there's the rice crispy yo-yos. They always pop up. Yeah. They're always in that, you know, 10 to $15 range. Everybody needs one of those in their collection. Everybody's seen it. What else we got here? I know I'm skipping over a lot of stuff here, but uh, there's another cross bike swing. Gyro yo-yo. That's cool. That, uh, that's earlier. It's got the box. I like this. Um, the box is pretty beat up. I would say if the box was a little more intact, 50, uh, 55, now nah, I wouldn't go that high. Maybe 35, 45 for that. It's hard to say. Um, let's see what else we got here. This came out just recently. There was a warehouse find this Orbitop. Oh, I picked up a couple. I think it's a weird looking yo-yo. It's got this little... Uh, spaceship design and there was an ad in a comic book i talked about this on on the show yo-yo talk at one point i don't remember what uh, episode but you should go back and watch all the episodes i kind of went in a deep dive on this uh we had it dated and um and uh, we had this nice ad on the back of a comic book i think it was a classic illustrated they had advertised it so anyway uh Cool little yo-yo. Uh, at some point, they're going to run out of those, and you're not going to be able to pick them up anymore. So I'm not saying that. It's, let me see what they want postage-wise. No, they're not killing you on postage. I'd say pick that one up. You, you'll regret it 10 years from now when everybody's got one and you don't. Uh, Royal Special. That's eh, a reasonably good seal. It's got a little, little chip there. Here's, again, one of those casings. And that's again the script, and you see what happens on all those scripted ones. They just the seals just didn't stay intact. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, here's here's something where I kind of regret. I, I should have bought the box. They were selling the box of these for oh, a couple two hundred and twenty bucks or something, and now they're going to sell around the box for eighty nine each. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm just seeing if we got any major yo-yos here. Uh, okay, well, that's the little prize. There's another one of those Hanna-Barbera yo-yos. This is a Glow Imperial 6-Ray. This is from... They started making these in 1972. Um, they made them for a few years, and then they went to a different... But this is the Hot Imprint Seal... So this is um, early mid seventies. That's cool yo yo. Well, you know, it's not it's not bad shape. Uh, these are the kind that you like to pick up in a garage sale for a buck or two, and then feel like you got a really good deal. And you can usually trade people for those too. Here's a Hep Magic um, Ball Yo Yo. Uh, Hep. It has this little yo-yo mechanism in it. Uh, they made a few ad yo-yos too. Oh, are they selling this with a package? Oh, no, 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 no. That's that's the box they came in. I was just selling that individually. That's, you know, maybe the hip people really like that, but I, I don't think I'd pay that much for it. It's a unique item. If you like the novelty type yo-yos, you ought to have one of those, but I think you could pick it up cheaper. Here's an expert award. Mm, that looks in, yeah, it's got a little, oh, $300. No, I'd pass on that. Uh, not, a, oh, definitely pass on that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, no, no, no. Definitely pass on that. You should be able to pick that up for maybe $180 with, with those kind of scuff marks on it. Okay. Uh, here's one of our famous, if you don't know what this is, uh, this is one of these, uh, 
spindle yo-yos. Uh, the, they were made from the old um, cotton fabric spindles that they had in these uh, giant fabric, fabric stores. They had these spools that the, the thread is on and they've cut the ends off and made these into uh, yo-yos. This is probably 150 years old, but it was made probably you know, 20 or 30 years ago. So nice to have one in your collection just to be able to tell people what they are. I don't consider these Bandalores, even though the yo-yo itself is the, the body is over 150 years yo-yo old. They were made after 1928. Now, if you can document one being made before then, then it's a bad. So I'm splitting hairs, but uh, anyway, that's the way I view it. Um, there's a couple of DDs. Uh, all right, here's uh, another one of those um, uh, satellites. You can see we had talked about that one earlier where it was the four jeweled. Uh, this is later. They changed to the three jewels, probably cheaper to make. And uh, ah, this is uh, not in great condition. I wouldn't spend that for. No, definitely want to check that shipping out. Boy, they 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 tag you from Canada, England. So uh, even if you had a reasonable price, which I don't think that is for that one. Um, they're tagging you. It's almost half the cost of the yo-yo. Good grief. There's some more supers. That's in pretty good shape. Let's see. Let's check that one out. It looks like in pretty good shape. Let's see what the back looks like. Yeah. Ah. 22. Let's see what they're asking. Shipping uh, under 30. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd want to get it for about probably 25 if you could, but uh, I, that's in such good shape. That's definitely a super nice displayable one. Ooh, here's one of my favorite uh, character yo yo's. Davy Crockett. All right. So this came out in the 50s. This was when Davy Crockett was at his peak. Um, they had the Davy Crockett movie out with uh, starred, um, oh, who was uh, Fess Parker, uh, who later went on to do the Daniel Boone series on, on TV, but originally kind of got his start with the uh, Davy Crockett. Actually, his sidekick was um, a Jed Clampett. I'm, I'm blocking on his name from uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. He was the sidekick in these uh, Davy Crockett movies. But, you know, they uh, back then we all had our little coonskin caps and stuff. Now, I'm, I was too young for this yo-yo. Uh, um, it, it was made in probably the mid to late 50s. Um, this, I believe, was a, a flyback yo-yo. This is in pretty good shape. If you were a hot character collector, I, you know, if I didn't have one, these don't pop up that often. I would take to a free shipping, 90 bucks. I would be having some deep soul searching. I might, I might pick that one up. So uh, uh, don't see them that often in that good a shape. So let's see what else we got here. Here's there's another one. Um, and I gotta just I like to do, throw these Mexican yos up every time, uh, every once in a while. Eighteen bucks. You can buy them in Mexico for about three. So there you go. So if you go to Mexico, you're going to go to Mexico anytime in the next twenty years, just wait. You can find as many as you want there. Uh, let's see if there's any other good stuff. Uh, okay, here is unusual yo-yo. This is not a yo-yo, folks. This is a spool. This is a spool. Um, we'll look at that opening at the end that was stuck on some kind of machine, and they were using that for thread or, or whatever. So anyway, just because it has thread on it, I mean, how are you going to look how much... Look how much stuff is on there. That's just stuff they wound it on there trying to make us believe it's a yo-yo. But that's that's a spool. So I don't value that much. Okay, let's see. Well, we're, let me see. Well, we've been on at this a while. I did see something that, that passed. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to just look up one more thing. One more thing. Uh, and it, 
super. Oh, wait a minute, I misspelled Duncan then. I'm gonna get Jack up when I do that. Duncan Super Yo Yo. Okay, let's see, Duncan Tournament Super Yo Yo. Let's see what pops up. Okay, there was something I was looking at. No, it was just, uh, it just reminded me. Okay, here's this thing. Why is that bothering me? 22 bucks. It's not as in good a shape as the. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So this is a, this will be our final one. This is the, um, this is one we'll do a little teaching on and this may be something really important. So let me open this up and see the, what it's not what I'm seeing. It's what I'm not seeing on this yoga. What am I not seeing folks? I'm not seeing the paint stripe. These supers pretty much, well, okay. These supers that were made, um, and this would be based on the seal. And there's like six different supers out there. So it's kind of like a different series. So it's nice to kind of collect them all. So this super is the earliest super. They made these up till about 1955, 1956. I can't remember the date exactly. Notice it just says tournament tops. In 1955, I think it was 1956, they put the word return tops there because they were trying to start to defend their trademark yo-yo. So these are the earliest supers and they all had a stripe. So I'm saying, where is this stripe? I'm not seeing it on any, anywhere. So that makes me wonder what the heck is going on. Let me look at that bigger. Now, okay, there is a possibility that I am seeing a yo-yo that has been altered because this stamp, I can't tell if it's been painted over. Now, if somebody's taken this yo-yo and paint repainted it, it's worthless. But I don't see, but why would the chip marks be there? Boy, this is, this is a conundrum for me, folks. This is a conundrum. And it seems like, is, are we looking at a slightly weak stamp on a very rare version of a super? Are we looking at something that's been touched up that makes it worthless? So I don't know. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy this sucker. <laughs> and then I will tell you on one of Yo-Yo Talk shows whether or not I think I found a real find here because this would be super, pardon the pun, rare of a super yo-yo. Um, now, I mentioned other super yo-yos. Um, let me see here. I think I actually... Okay, so you've got the this super here. You've got the the super that came after it, which says return tops. Then you've got the much rarer uh, practice super. It'll say practice tournament tops here. And that's very cool because you have to look close to pick those up. Those are pretty rare. And so it's great to find them because you always get them undervalued. Um, then you've got the probably the grand poopa of the supers. That's the... Uh, splatter paint super and then you've got the reproduction supers there's the one with the stripe and there's one without the stripe now the difference in the reproduction ones are is that they will not have the registered trademark there under the word yo-yo but they will have the registered trademark there behind the duncan so uh, those are your different supers and we may have just added one so that's it for me. I'm going to stop and I'm going to buy this now. And um, and I will tell you more about it once I have it in hand. I'll talk about it on Yo-Yo Talk. So there you go. I hope this helped and we'll do this. If uh, people like this, let me know because um, I, I like doing this. I like talking about yo-yos and I think sometimes it's fun just going through, especially when I'm pointing out yo-yos that I already have that I think are really great buys and you may pick up on some uh, really cool uh, deals by, by watching. All right, that's it for now. I'm signing off. This is Doc Lucky. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you uh, check out the Yo-Yo Talk episodes.